<laughs> Hello, world. You're listening to Business Podcasting Made Easy on the number one global business talk and news network on the internet, IVGR, International Business Growth Radio. Welcome to the TV talk show formula where you get a roadmap to elevate your authority and expand your visibility with a TV talk show that you're proud of. I'm Donna Cundy, co-founder of the IBGR Network, global radio authority and podcast expert and producer of more than 14,000 podcasts. And I'm Declan Oseguera, TV producer and international TV talk show host. And my TV talk show formula has impacted over 100,000 lives globally and gives business owners and entrepreneurs a simple way to be seen and heard with their own purpose-driven message. And we are your hosts for this 13-week journey. And before we jump in, remember, if you want direct live support from us for your business TV talk show, then contact us today at tvtalkshowformula.info. And this week, we're walking through an easy-to-follow, proven, plug-and-play way to get your TV talk show done 13 minutes at a time in just 13 weeks. So follow the formula and welcome to the show. I don't know why I'm talking like this. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Roboto. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this is week 12 of 13. Hard to believe that we're finally, uh, not finally, but we are just on the cusp of our very last week. Oh my goodness. Oh. Today we're going to, to delve into why hosting your own online TV talk show is smart business. It's about leverage, amplify, and expand your reach. We will go into four episodes like usual, breaking the boundaries from content creator to content innovator, believing in your worth, and the 80% advantage. This mm. comes on the heels of week 11. You're on the air, the art of hosting and guesting, where we talked about the dream guest to reality, building your dream guest list, the power of preparation, and that exciting moment so you can go back and listen to any and all of this season's podcasts at tvtalkshowformula.com. Today's episode is breaking the boundaries, pushing your professional limits. That makes this season 12, episode 45, Declan. Yes. How do That's we want to set this one up? <laughs> all right. So from our, from our friend Tupac Shakur. He says, uh, said, reality is wrong. Dreams are for real. Yes. I love that. <laughs> I do too, especially the way you and I think that, you know, that yeah. we, there, there's no such thing as, quote, reality. I'm air quoting reality. Exactly. It's all, <laughs> it's everything that we perceive in that becomes our reality. So yeah. why not perceive it in a dreamlike state? Love that. Exactly. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that is why we love that. It has so many. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So, so in this in this episode, uh, it's important to become a person worth watching by continuing to up level your vision, your goals, your dreams, your desires, and then matching it with your action steps, so that you can become the TV talk show persona that you see in your vision. Like Tupac was saying, yeah, your dreams are for real, and for and real. these these dreams came real for two of your clients. We have case yes. studies today. <laughs> yes. Um, well, a client and a colleague, uh, to, be, okay. to be clear, in, in case they're listening. <laughs> yeah, of course. Actually, one is about to become a client uh, because she, after I told her about what we're doing with the TV talk show um, guiding work, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that I think I should do that with you. I'm like, oh, yeah, <laughs> you should. <laughs> so there. Awesome. You're, you're awesome. being prophetic. Yeah, so so the first one I'll talk about is uh, Dr. Margaret Evanow, and she went through my uh, program um, to learn how to create a TV talk show. And I think I might have mentioned her in, a, in maybe in a previous um, episode, but before she worked with me, she knew since she says 2018 that she wanted to be on camera, but she had so much fear. She just could not allow herself to take her to to do it, right? To start showing up. And um 2018 a, to when did she finally do it? Um about a year and a half ago at this point. Yeah. So we're at 2023. So about four yeah. years. Yeah. Wow. And the whole time she was like, oh I, I should, I need to, but she wasn't willing <laughs> she to be She should all over herself. <laughs> she should it all over herself. Yes. S-H-O-U-L-D. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. 
And if she's listening or watching, uh, she would be laughing right now. <laughs> she because she had such an amazing <laughs> transformation. Um, she went through basically everything that we've talked about here in the TV talk show formula, right? Um, in pretty much the same order that we've laid it out here, and the beginning part around the mindset monsters and and really owning her value and her worth that she has something worthy. She's a PhD, and she didn't believe that what she had to say really was going to matter outside wow. of the one-on-one clinical setting. And this is an important part of this is for the work that she um, is trained in, She there's a lot of restrictions, like you can't be on social media making videos saying, hey, come work with me. So mm-hmm. there was that. Two was um, what she really wanted to talk about, which is not in the clinical realm of psychology, but more quantum psychology, right? like what we were just saying, like we create our own reality, right? This blend of her area of expertise, not allowed in a clinical setting, let alone on social media. So she started just making some videos very tentatively to test the waters and then really realized how much she can make an impact out there. And she literally changed. She stepped away uh, from her clinical world and moved into uh, offering coaching as a psychologist in this quantum psychology realm, um, completely out of the norm. So she she took this huge bungee jump, right? This quantum, <laughs> and very early um, in working with me, she started doing her, she does a Facebook live show every Monday called Mondays with Margaret. And she just started honing her message and getting more and more clear and more and more co- confident in what she has to say. And in that process, it allowed her to kind of make that, choice to step into the work she really wants to do and so speaking of the dreams right her dream was to was very different than the work air quotes that she was doing yeah and she took that she took that leap right she believed you know is she created she created a new reality and it it's based on what we're talking about here uh being being visible being seen being heard on video yeah and i love that you called it the the bungee jump leap yeah because you do come back, but you come back different. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I love that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, You're a and, changed and, person after that. <laughs> yes. And and then there's just the jumping, right? The, the is yeah. this thing going to work? Is it going to save me? Am I going to, is this it? Is this how I die? Right? That's the feeling you know, <laughs> yeah. of a bungee jump, right? Which, which um, when we're making these big transitions, uh, they can even be little transitions, like that feeling, that excitement. That's how that's how and, I know I'm in the right direction. <laughs> and Dr. Margaret was able to leave her practice and and really do the work that she felt called to do. Right? Yes, well, and it was her own private practice, and so she she um, which was a huge investment, right, of space and stuff to do this kind of work. And so she she's um, mo- uh, almost entirely moved out of the way. Also, the the referral network she was part of and where clients would come from, patients. Mm-hmm. All of that was like, whoa, am I really going to do this? Yeah. And and now she's, you know, she's launched a coaching program and now she's, she, she's kind of, you know, she crossed the line officially mm-hmm. and, mm-hmm. and she, she's so happy with the life that she has now. So what a yeah. fantastic case study. Thank you so much for sharing yeah. that because this is really about breaking boundaries yeah. and, and anytime that we are, our, our why is bigger than our, than our fear we can take that bungee jump leap. And, you know, there, I, I always, you, people who've heard my story laugh that, you know, I say uh, when I had done my vision board that I was going to be a, a podcaster, I didn't know it was going to be all of this, you know, radio station owner, 14,000 right. podcasts late, all these things. I was limiting myself. I was like, Oh gosh, maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just, we just say, yeah. maybe I'll just, I'll just, I'll just do this. Uh-huh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, when we take the leap, then so much more becomes available than we could even have imagined. By the way, she just the other day she sent she sent me a um, message with a link, and it was her being a guest on someone else's show. Nice. And I was like a proud papa because <laughs> she was clear, she was like prepared, mm-hmm. like she just knew how to handle it. It was almost like it was her show, but she, you know, she didn't cross that boundary, but. You could just tell this was not her first time at the rodeo and everything yeah. she learned from doing what we're teaching here in the TV talk show formula. 
I love it. I love it. And we have case study number two with yes. Sherry. We want to give her some time. And we'll we've got, uh, obviously, we've got to do's for our listeners. So yes. So we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll get through this quickly. <laughs> so Sherry, <laughs> Sherry Elise is known as America's joy magnet, and she's all over the news, all over the country, the United States, uh, all the time talking about joy like it's her main topic right imagine that on broadcast news they're bringing her in to talk about the topic of joy but what she um also is is a, her own tv talk show host and she's you know basically has herself set up much like we do in her home she's in her in uh in her bedroom uh with her you know her set behind her and every week uh she goes live it's uh, her show's called the um the joy spot the mm. current show that she's doing and this is about what we were talking about before and to really dream big when it comes to who's going to be a guest on your show, because she's interviewed lots of people, right? But she had on her, in her sites, when she brought this show back to interview people like Oprah mm -hmm. and Marianne Williamson. And she just interviewed Neil Donald Walsh, who's mm. a huge name in the world of spirituality, self-help, you know, that, that, that world. And, Right before that, she interviewed uh, Joe Vitelli, who wow. is another huge, uh, uh, yes, uh, another huge, there's two Joes, Joe Dispenza and Joe mm -hmm. Vitelli. It was Vitelli. So huge name, right? Um, in, in the world of uh, quantum leaping and law of attraction and, and you know, uh, new thought. And, and she had decided that these are the kinds of people that she wanted to focus on. And these are exactly the kinds of people that are seemingly you know coincidentally showing up for her um, yeah. <laughs> but it, it started with her saying put in, making that list like we've talked about here yeah who was her dream client list and now now she's actually um looking at moving into an actual studio uh where she'll have a whole production team and That's be able to fantastic sit side by side with her guests and mm -hmm. um, it's just it, that's going to happen pretty imminently. So that we're going to have to end it there. We have so much to talk about in this episode. There are take yes. actions for you. It's about revisiting your persona, dreaming big and, and doing a vision board, scheduling time yes. for that. You can check all that out in the show notes. And if you have questions, always contact us at tvtalkshowformula.info. Schedule a talk. Love to have that with you. This is episode 45 with Donna and Declan. We're ending now coming right back with episode 46. Yay!